In other headlines tonight, it was a big day at the Capitol for several reasons. For one, Governor Jim Pillen delivered his State of the State address. But the timing for that delivery didn't go according to the governor's plan after a whirlwind start to the morning on the unicameral floor. 1011's John Grinvold spent the day there and brings us the latest. The governor's speech didn't start on time this morning as a few state senators took their turns voicing frustrations they have over some of the administration's actions. But when Pillen did get to talking, he focused in on accomplishments from the previous year and narrowed down his agenda for this year. The governor was all set to give his biggest speech of the year at 10 a.m., but as dozens of his friends, family members, and colleagues settled in to watch, a different scene unfolded. This legislature may need to take action. One of severe criticism, like Omaha Senator Justin Waynes, who railed against the administration about the lack of community involvement in plans to build a $90 million business park in East Omaha. My biggest problem with this grant and this grant application was there was no community engagement and no community input. 45 minutes past the planned start, Pillen entered the chamber, reflecting on the past year and charting a course for this year. I don't have a shadow of a doubt that this has the opportunity to be the most impactful legislative session in our history. Among his priorities, axing property taxes by 40 percent. He says Nebraska ranks seventh highest on that front and that the impacts even trickle down to renters. Pillen says he wants to see hard caps on local spending. When valuation of their home goes up, they will not pay another dime in property taxes. Pillen also focused on Nebraska's horizon, its kids, and making sure the state has the teachers to bring them up. Pillen backed a controversial bill, the Sports and Spaces Act, which would ban trans youth from participating on sports teams. I spoke with Lincoln Senator George Dungan, who said taking up those kinds of bills will tip the session into turmoil. We as a legislative body have to decide what we're going to focus on. And I think that that's sort of a decision between those hyperpartisan issues that really ran us up into a brick wall last year or more of those kitchen table issues. We'll continue following bills related to property taxes and other crucial issues as they make their way into committees and onto the legislature floor. Reporting in the Capitol, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.